Okay, you guys. Intro. Woohoo. Okay. Yeah, right? Intro. Yay. So today, today, we are going to be making a sushi roll. My favorite is tuna. Tuna with avocado. So those are called um, tuna avocado rolls. I don't know what they're called. I forget what they're called. So you can tell I did my research, you know. But we're going to need three different types of yarn. So thank you. I used uh, Canva to do it, actually. Really, really good stuff. Hold on. Give me one. What? What? My mom just asked for $20 to borrow. Shake my head. I can't. I don't know if you guys heard that. So. Okay. So in my hand, I have the faux fur yarn from Lion Brand in the color um, Poodle Pink for the tuna. The avocado portion of the sushi is going to be this homespun, and it's called Olive. I don't know if this is discontinued or not, but I think it might be. Can you guys hear the wind outside? Unagi. Unagi means eel in Japanese. And then for the, su the seaweed, eel is delicious. For the seaweed portion of... This is the little frayed part of the yarn. If you guys can see that. But for the, su the seaweed portion, I'm going to use black in Just Genial from, from Dollar Tree. I love eel. Oh, my goodness. And the sauce that they put on it is so good. I don't know what it's called, but... So I'm going to start. Oh, and I need white. I totally forgot I need white for the rice. Really? And just chenille white. Okay. I don't know if Nightbot's going to keep saying hi when you say hi. But it's just, it's just a really friendly Nightbot. My friendly neighborhood nightbot. Let me light up the area more. Bear with me. Okay. Sushi. So I'm going to start with the tuna portion. And I'm thinking about what a sushi roll looks like, right? I know I just heard about I just heard about him too earlier and it was not it was just so sad. He lived a long life but still I told my kids about it and they weren't very happy. Sorry if I missed comments. I'm Hold on, give me a sec. Kiddos, can you keep your voices down a little bit? Thank you. Yes. All right, so I'm not starting with a magic ring tonight. I'm starting with a chain two because this yarn is very breakable. Yeah, I'm going to set a cooldown timer after <laughs> this. This is my first official test of Nightbot for an audience of people. Okay, so I'm going to do a chain two. And you're going to periodically hear my kiddo make car sounds. So it's just roll with it like he is. He's rolling with it. So I'm chaining two. Really hard to see with this yarn. And I'm thinking, yeah, single crocheting. six just to start so 
So two, and I'm gonna write this down here too. All right, so in the pink, it's so fluffy. Yeah, hold on. I totally messed myself up here. It's been a night of that. Accidents happen, you know, we're live. People are humans. <laughs> My kiddos. All right, so we're gonna single crochet six into the chain, the second chain from the hook. Two. Counting is important for this part. Three. They said three, right? Four. Five. Six. And I'm just cutting this off because I'm not using this until I get to the probably the other side because I'm going to do a sushi roll tuna on both sides. So I'm going to use my scissors that apparently I've lost. But I have backups because I know I lose scissors every live. Every time. How's the audio? I'm just going to pull this through. All right, so this is what this is looking like. So, let me see something. For sushi, this kind of looks like a little heart. A little bit. Okay, so for sushi, I want to do a little avocado right here. So I'm going to do a slip knot. So I'm going to change colors. And then round three. So round three, I'm thinking, or round two, single crochet. Let me do it first and see how that works. So I'm going to put the slip knot on my hook. I didn't even finish. And I'm going to feel around. There's a hole right here where the chain two was, and then there's a stitch here, and there's a stitch here. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a little B right here, so I'm gonna attach right here. Yeah, that feels like it's in there. And I'm going to single crochet right here. Single crochet. Are you okay? Hold on. All right. So I'm single crocheting up here, and I'm going to single crochet into the chain two. Like an extended situation. And I'm going to single crochet onto the top of this stitch right here. Although, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. 
So I'm going to change to my white color for the rice. Actually, I'm going to attach it like that. I'm going to do a color change. So what I did was I single crocheted. One and two. That's what I just did, so I'm going to put it up right there. So single crochet into the last stitch made, single crochet into the chain two, then single crochet into the next stitch of the six, if that makes sense. Just to give this sushi effect. And then I'm going to work around I'm going to work into the same stitch as this avocado portion as an increase. So that would be an increase right there. Then I'm going to work two single crochet into all of the stitches around. This is an unorthodox way of doing this, but it kind of looks really, I'll probably do a edit of this later and do, um, yeah, I'll probably do an edit, it, edit this later and do three and three, but I want to see how this looks. So this is freestyle, so it's okay, we have mistakes. If I can grab this, go in, misbehaving yarn. You guys be nice to each other though. Okay, two single crochet. So that would be considered the round three, and I'm going to do an increase in each stitch round. And right now, I'm not worried about counting. I know. How could I do that? Terrible. My night bought so welcoming. All right. We have to change that night bot thing to say that every 15 minutes, like Sanita told me. Oh, please. It's okay. All right. My internet dropped itself. Okay. So, two, four, six, eight, ten. 12. Just keep going around.
Good evening. Good evening, Isala. So proper. This is not your traditional. That does not look very, that does not look easy. It's a mess, I know. This is what it's looking like at my first round of white. I'm going to use a stitch marker to just mark myself. How long have I been doing this? I've been doing Amigurumi since 2016, I want to say around there. So, yeah, around 2016. Konbawa. Arigato. Okay, so now for round four, which I consider round four, we're going to single crochet one and increase around as a repeat. Hear an alarm in the house. I'm just keeping it simple. So we're single crocheting one and then increasing in the next. This is so fluffy. I'm thinking I want to make a pillow with this. Rings of power. <gasps> You're feeling elfish. What's rings of power? Please explain to me, because I don't know what that is. Is it based off the Lord of the Rings? Okay, one. And increase. One and increase. You know, it's really cool about this yarn is making it into what I'm making it into. Doesn't this kind of look like rice? Oh, there's a prequel to The Lord of the Rings. Not written by him? That's So who wrote it? The people who own the franchise? It was sweet. Keeping the increasing going. Where is this um, prequel located? Focusing on this. What did I just do? It did two, one, two. They stay close to the books. Good. Okay. Thanks for leaving me on. All right. That's what it's looking like. Does it look sushi -y, y? I I have Prime. I could totally watch that then. Look at how the yarn sticks like a 
feathers onto the crochet hook. Ew. This is all sticky. Ew, dude. Come on. <laughs> okay, so. My kid farted in the background, so y'all probably didn't hear that, but now I'm narrating it. Single crochet two, and then increase in the next. That is round five. I'm staying true to the way we do the increases. Um, Crystal is as tired as I as tired as I am here for you. Girl, go to sleep. It's like it's okay. Yeah, dude. Did you hear it though? You heard it? Oh my gosh, you've heard it. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> you can hear that. That's terrible. Oh no. I was like, I hope they don't think that was me. You know, bloopers. All right, so I'm single crocheting two, and then I'm increasing single crochet two, and then increasing. Oh, you're mopping the floor. I like that. No, man, that was a big old fart that just happened in the background. And it wasn't me. I'm not claiming it. And if it was me, I wouldn't claim it. I'm just kidding. Someone else did it. <laughs> yep. You guys serious? Turn that down, please. They know I'm live. I don't understand. Everyone knows I'm live. I totally tell them these things. I don't expect people to hold their farts in though. Not for me. Oh, you do? Wow. Wow. That's that's amazing. You don't walk in your house with shoes either, right? I'm assuming. Because if you're, you're scrubbing the floor, you know. How big is it? So, okay. Here's the thing with the sushi. If you want to make a, a sushi pillow, which I kind of want to make a sushi pillow roll, which is kind of something I'm thinking about, you know? Oops. Mm -mm. All that stuff from the outside walking on it. But if you want to make a sushi pillow, I would say keep going and going and going as wide as you want and then i'll show you the decreasing because you go as wide as you want and you decrease the same amount but it's looking like this and this is round five i only have three hours left in my stream yard so this is probably going to be my last stream. Wait. Yeah. My my stuff re-ups on the 20th. What did I do? So I don't know. I'll probably try a different streaming service. Sorry, StreamYard. They probably don't care because it's like I'm not paying them to use StreamYard. So they're like, yeah, go try another streaming service. We don't care. If I if I made a giant if I made a giant sushi pillow, you think I would dream about eating sushi? Giant sushi? I dream about going up there. You would dream you ate a giant sushi and you would wake up. And you would wake up and your pillow would be gone. Oh my gosh. What did I say? Round six. Single crochet three and increase. 
Sounds right. It's what we normally do. I could probably make this into a sushi hat. Imagine that little sushi ball on the top. Yummy. Okay, so I'm single crocheting one, two, three, and then increasing into the next. I'm so surprised. I said it before, but doesn't this look like rice? I'm loving it. Mm, it's such a delicious pillow. One, two, three. One, two, three. A little sushi. I'm probably going to make a little sushi, so this is going to be my last increase. That way I'm not, like, here for three hours because I don't have that much time on my stream yard, like I said. Mm -hmm. That would be terrible. Yeah, right. It looks like a little sushi, Kelly. A little baby sushi. Just a little tuna and just a little avocado and this is a little rice. And this is a little blurry. Oh, a little sushi hat. A little top hat, but a sushi. <laughs> and I could pin it to my head. For sure. That's for sure. I muted because there's beeping outside. You know, we're in the ghetto. Just kidding. Two, three. What happened? One. I looked down to count and then you guys say things. Hold on. Let me scroll up in a sec. Do, 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 do. I can't mop like that. I wouldn't be able to stand back up. Oh, probably could actually. Well, you know what you can, can and can't do, though. You could keep it like that, even a stick with a chopstick through it. Well, that is true. A good idea. What if I just did a series of sushi? A sushi, I can't. I have a lisp, a, a little lisp, a sushi series where I make sushi things. Sushis. Sushi me. Onigiris. Two, three. One, two, three. Looks like a belly button. It's the belly button. It does look like a belly button. I love how you guys are always like, it looks like this. It looks like that. It looks like, <laughs> like this one. It looks like a nipple. Sorry, I bring that up every time. All right, all right, three. Let me focus because I'm getting super lost in this. Two, one, two, three. Increase. One, two, three. Increase. One, two, three, increase. It worked. It worked out. All right, now we're going to do a color change. But to do the color change and make it smooth, quotey fingers smooth. 
I'm going to take out my stitch marker, move it, and I'm going to skip this stitch. Where did my... Yeah, I had this up, it erased. Or did I ever put it up? So I can keep track of what I'm doing here. What's happening, guys? Just so you know when you could, oh, that's my bot. Wow. Four shut, one, two, three, four shut the door, five, six pickups, chopsticks. Yummy. Oh, you're getting your kitchen done tomorrow? That's awesome. All right, color change. We're going to skip one stitch and slip stitch into the next. Then I'm going to grab the new color. Oops. I'm writing down what I'm doing. Red, black color. All right, so here's my black. I'm going to cut this green avocado. Oops. Am I going to cut the green avocado? And I'm going to cut the red, the white off as well. I'm going to do what I said in that. Oops, I did a little tail. Thank goodness we're not using that anymore. Because, yeah, I cut that really short. Look at this. Don't do this, guys. Plan better than this. Did I just hear a cow in over here? No? I live in Chicago. Chicago. So I'm skipping this stitch and I'm slip stitching into this. If you did hear a cow, that would be interesting. So I'm slip stitching and I'm just going to chain it up to like hide that. Ooh, did you see all that fluff that came out of there? So for the next... Hi, Isela. Welcome back. For the next round... Round... Seven? I think we're on round seven. I do hear a beeping, though. Give me a sec. What? Yeah, round seven. Round seven, we're going to work in the back loops only. And we're going to be single crocheting in each stitch round. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that beeping, but let me know if you can. All right, so going to insert in the back loop. So you can't see it here, but we have a back loop and we have a front loop. This is the front loop that I'm grabbing. This is the back loop and these are both loops. So we're gonna be working in this back loop, not this front loop, back loop. So begin though, chat though. That was for you, Isela. Chanto from Doctor Who, the master. <clears throat> so I'm doing a slip knot. I'm putting it on my hook, actually, to begin. This is such a soft little yarn. I love it. I'm inserting into the back loop. Right there. 
and I'm just gonna yarn over and single crochet like I normally would. And there's a single crochet right there. And I'm gonna repeat that single crochet in the back loop of each stitch around. And this should, you hear moves? Moves? It's probably the cars outside. That's hilarious. Is it like really loud moves? Let me move my um my microphone. Mo As you can imagine, I just like dropped everything. Let me know if you hear moves anymore. Yeah, the cars in Chicago are really exhausted. No, exhaust. See what I did there? Ha ha ha. Yeah, that character from Doctor Who was very like. She was nice though, Chan though. But the master is always so uh, uh, agitated by anything that wasn't him. So go figure, right? Like, we're talking about Doctor Who. Yeah, my Michaels has a self checkout too. It's like really. Uh, if I'm working for Michaels, I might need to get that Michael's employee discount, you know what I mean? Oh, chickens. That's how you keep them safe, right? From predators. Imagine a sushi roll this big, like how delicious. In Chicago, we have a thing called the sushi burrito. And yeah, that is all. Maybe I'll get one one day and like record myself looking at it and then not eating it. Cause I'll eat it off camera. That's what I mean. I'll eat that sushi roll real, really. I'm gonna stop talking about this now. Sushi's good. Let's see. Maybe I'll make this into a little keychain. But this is what it's looking like right now with the black seaweed around it. Seaweed is actually a dark green, but I didn't have a dark green. So I don't even think anyone really dyes a dark green. Do you guys know of any dye, like companies that have a dark, dark green color, solid? Like, I've never seen it. Kelly, I will. He was in a good mood. Tell Abner I said, hey, Mike. Hey, Miguel. Come on, scoop and scoop it, scoop it. So hard to grab. When I was adjusting my camera, and or not my camera, when I was adjusting the 
the microphone. All this stuff fell on me, and then this little this little one fell on me. And this is a duck I made with this yarn, but in the yellow color. I think it's called lemon. That Dollar Tree yarn. I was like, hey, little buddy. Sushi is the leash. Go there, little duck. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -dum, ba -dum. Trying to grab the back loop. It's so difficult with this yarn to stay completely. Wow, I hear yelling in the other side of the house. Let me try to grab that. All right, so this is the last stitch of the round. This is what it's looking like. Okay. Now, for rounds eight through, with a question mark here, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around until I have the depth I want. Uh, yeah, like a moss dark green. I've never seen a solid, like, dark green because. Excuse me. This black is a dark, dark color, but I've never seen a dark green in this color to kind of mimic the color of a seaweed, like a seaweed green, if that makes sense, if that's even a color. I've never seen that as a color. It would be really nice, though. All right. So single crocheting in each stitch around so this will leave me time to look at comments and uh, and talk to you guys whoa what did i do all right this is the first stitch let me take that out because that was really weird now when i'm working in this black yarn you can hardly see the stitches so yeah All right, there we are. Flow state. Probably have some vintage dark green. Yeah. Because green was really popping or popular back in the 70s, right? Greens, browns, and creams. But then there's also like... The 80s was more brown. Like it started from... What do you guys think? The 60s, were they more colorful than the 70s? And then the 70s gradually became neutrals. And like, then in the 80s, everything was brown. Is that a thing? Is that a thing that happened? Or am I just tripping? Let's see if I can get focus right there, focus. Some background music. My leg is falling asleep sitting like this. All right, we're an hour in. I'm going to definitely chapter this. Here, but researching patterns. Ooh, what kind of patterns are you researching? Anything you can share with the class? No, with the class. I actually, can we do socks one day together? I really, 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 really want to make socks. And you said you know how. I have, um, I have sock yarn. I have several little, um, I have several skeins of sock yarn, but remember how we were at Joanne's together the other day at Kelly's Live, in Kelly's Live, and we were looking at that really pretty sock yarn 
I'm kind of thinking about that sock yarn. Like I've been thinking about it, mulling it over a little. I'm just going down a dark hole of pattern searching. It's a loved pastime. How many, like, what would you say for anyone here if you want to answer? Percentage wise, when you buy a pattern, what's the percentage that you're going to make it? And then what determines that? So for me, I, I buy patterns or I make my own patterns and then I don't make them. Maybe one time. Yes, the time you zoom through the yarn and I was trying to figure out a scheme I saw and yeah, I remember. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. You were you actually want to give away during that, <laughs> that life. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn this if that was loud, I'm so sorry. And then there were ten. Let's see. Working in black yarn is, let me see, a little, if I could illuminate, illuminate on this thing. It still doesn't make it any better. Zoom in. Stop, collaborate, and listen. But yeah. How would we go about making socks? Would you want to do it like we're doing this right now? Because I would totally be down to do that. But obviously we would need to do it in parts because it sounds like a long time. We can't just sit there for like 10 hours and make socks. It's, it's just irresponsible. Yeah, like... It would have been smart of me, oops, smart of me to be tallying. So I did one and now I'm on the second round. So that's round eight. I ate one, so I'm on nine. We can do that. I'm getting to start a sock class. I had plans starting um, in November. Okay, cool. It sounds awesome. It sounds so fun. Okay. Fun. Sock November. So, like, what type of style are you? Or we could talk offline if you don't want to, like, talk and, you know, reveal all your secrets type of thing. You know. We could talk offline. So we have nine. And now I'm probably going to do, because, like, how deep is the sushi roll when they cut it? Like, this is kind of how deep it is. I'm going to go, like, two more, I think. Two and then stuff. For sure. For sure. When I crochet, because I can crochet socks. Ooh, Kelly, Kelly, want to make socks together too? Sensei, Sensei Kim, it's it will be my first sock that's crocheted. I've made other things that are, I mean, knit. I've knitted other things like gloves and scarves and hats, but I've never made a sock or two socks because you need to. Dang, you made like 10 or 11 pairs. And you said you're a lady size 13, right? So did you make them for yourself or did you make them for others? I'm taking a drinking break. I think it'd be cool 
do you know if any other people are going to jump on jump in the socks the socks game get a little little sock community going I mean, okay, I have this color, or I have this yarn. Um, I ski, I uh, hanked it today in my my short after I saw Daniel's video, but it's a size one, two. It's a size two, and it's like super little, super thin. Would this work for a sock? I love how this, it's like, this is so cute because it, it looks like almost like fruity pebbles. And I didn't expect this yarn to do that. Because I balled, or I, uh, where is it? I have it over here somewhere. I balled it, I balled it up, and it's somewhere. Where is it? It's right here, right here. And then this is the, yeah, this is the Hobby Lobby, this is the Hobby Lobby Yarn Bees Authentic Hand Dyed and Veiled Amethyst. So I got it for $3 and 74 cents. But do you think I could use this uh, to make socks? Because it's very thin. Let me see if I can find the other yarn I have. So I have... This is why I'm going to chapter out this video later. I feel like they're the same weight, almost. Right? Ooh, just dropped it into the microphone. Yarn is falling all over me right now. It's such a nice feeling. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, these are the two sock weight ones. I think it's sock weight, right? Let me see. Are you asking about the veiled amethyst or the uh, other one so this one has lyocell and superwash merino it's a 50 50 blend you can see that right there so it's 400 yards and it's a size two and it looks, it's fingering, but it does have nylon, so that may not be as hard where, it, okay. So this is 50 grams of um, sock weight, and I have two, I put the, I have two, uh, not two of these. You sell it, come on the sock train to, to yarning for a smile too. I don't know if you guys have each other. You should type hook that yarn. But she knits, uh, yarning for a smile knits. Isela knits and she looms and crochets and she spins yarn and she um, she does amigurumi too as well, but she also makes wearables. So she does everything. She should rename herself to she does everything. Just saying. That, that would be a really good channel name, actually. <laughs> um, so, yeah, those are the two I have. And I don't have the same one, so I probably will, for the purpose of this, of your, um, your sock kind of challenge, I'll probably buy new yarn for it just because, yes. Because I don't have a lot of sock weight yarn. I mostly make amigurumi, which is like four weight yarn for me. Excuse me. But yeah, there's a uh, yarning for a smile, Isela. You should connect with each other if you haven't. Isela, uh, she does a lot. She also paints. Uh, she's a Hoovian. Um, 
I'm going to do an intro video game video going over yarn weights, except you should. That would be really nice. Um, and how to determine the yarn's weight as well would be nice. Like if it's not on the packaging. Man, this yarn is grabbing everything. Yeah, I know what I'm going to make next with this yarn. I can see this already. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you should see the things that she weaves, too. It's really, really cool. I want to get a weave. What are they called? Weave, standing weaving. I don't know. I'm ignorant to this. All right, this is how I'm, I'm on 10. So, ooh, look at my hand running. 10. Chicken scratch, chicken scratch. So, I'm going to rewrite what's on there. Rounds 8 through a 10, I believe. The 7, 8, 9, 10. That is what I have just done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to color change. So I'm going to do what I did before where I move my stitch marker and I'm going to skip this. This is not the stitch. I'm going to skip this stitch and slip stitch into the next. So color change. Yeah, the, the I don't know how to pronounce patterns, patterns. Soccer and you looked at crystal was very nice for socks. Yeah, it was. I. I love the rainbow. Like, they have a lot of good sock yarn that they didn't have before. You guys saw how crazy I was kind of getting in there. It, it was a little much because I haven't, one, I haven't been in there since the pandemic, really. I was ordering online, and they weren't really showing. I don't really shop online like that. Like, I have shopped there for things I needed, but then I went inside, and I got a little stir crazy, and I was like, Oh my gosh, Kelly. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look at this. Ah, it, it was, yeah. It was a lot. It's a lot. I got overwhelmed. Yeah. I might go back there and show you guys what they have. I'm definitely going to go back to that. Um, pay tons, pay tons. Thank you. So I'm skipping this stitch and I'm slip stitching into the next one. So yeah, look out for the future. And then, yeah, I'm definitely going to go back there because I didn't buy anything, if you can believe that. Um, it was just for you guys. And I don't know. I think you guys had fun. So that was the point. You know? All right. So color changing. Grab your white. Yeah, and then next time I go, I can, I'm not going to do it live, but I am going to go alone so I could say, stay in the store for a while. And I might pick up a job application depending on how long I'm in there. <laughs> Any stitch.
All right. That's my plan is to give Joanne's my paycheck. So I'm going to create a slip knot in my rice color. Sometimes people like brown rice sushi, which is still good sushi. So attach it to your hook and then find the back loop by doing this thingy. I put it in the top. This is the front loop. This is the back. This is the front loop. This is the back loop. We're going to be working in the back loop with the slip knot on the hook first, inserting into the back loop and just Yes, single crocheting in each stitch around. This is the first round of just, and that would be, if I could copy and, hold on, give me one. That's not what I wanted to do. So for round 11, Right, 11. Single crochet in back loop only. Typing the instructions for later, because I doubt anyone's doing this with me right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You'll get your front and back loops confused. So, yeah, front loop back. Oh my goodness, give me one sec. Okay, so I'm single crocheting and each stitch around. I had to mute because it got loud in the house for a second. Yeah. There are conversations happening. You can't stop life. Am I right? No. Okay. Right. So there's some sirens going on. Can you guys hear the sirens? Okay, so I was counting in the increase rounds that I did from the center up. And when I was doing them, I did increase, single crochet, one, two, three, increase. So that's what I'm going to be doing, but opposite. Which, what I mean by that is I'm going to be doing single, single crochet three and then decrease over the next two for the next round. I wanted to make sure I had that 
kind of figured out before I moved on. But for right now, we're just single crocheting in each stitch around right here. You okay, bud? Go drink some water. He just coughed. Hold on. Okay. So we're doing that. We're just single crocheting and each stitch around. Ba -da -da. Yeah, a good way to get uh, your front and back loops understood, or it's just the one that's more front based, like when you're facing your work, when you're facing your work, the loop that's in the front is going to be the one facing you more. The loop in the back is going to be the one that's further away from your hand or from your face or your hands, not your hands, but front front of the work, back of the work, front loop, back loop. I said from your face, really. Derp, it's silly. Oh man, I'm halfway. Like I said before, I have three hours of stream yard time left and I'm at 125. So interesting. Oops, I started going into the loops incorrectly. See? Ooh, I was not paying attention. Okay, this is the front. Gotta dig in there for this loop. Hmm. Oh, where are you, loop? That's this one, and then. This is the slip stitch. Okay. That was a struggle. Okay, I'm putting my stitch marker up again. Okay, so it's the inside. Four rounds, round. Twelve. I'm going to do single crochet three and then decrease and repeat. So that's this next round coming up because like I said, so if you guys wanted to make this sushi roll bigger you guys will just keep increasing and then do the single crochet in the back loop to go down and in each stitch and then single crochet around but i did one two three single crochet and then increase so we're going to do one two three single crochet and then decrease over the next two what we do on one side we do on the opposite side just for uni uniformity so that way it stays um, consistent. So I'm going to single crochet three. And then I'm going to go in the front loop of the next 
stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, go in the front loop of the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops are on my hook, yarn over, and I'm going to pull through all three loops to do that decrease. So I'm going to repeat one, two, three, and then repeat the decrease and in, insert into the front loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert into the next, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So yeah, just repeat that around. One, two, three. Do you guys hear the sirens? Chicago. Things that happen in Chicago. That's from my Dollar Tree video. The song's called Chicago. I'm sorry. I think I'm funny. Do dum dum shh. Single crochet three. Did I just do it? Yes. The nice thing about this yarn is you can actually, wow, you can actually see what you're doing. Single crocheting three and decreasing. You guys could hear that. Uh, I don't know. Chicago's really loud. It's like a lot of stuff is going on here. Much crime. Much prayers needed. You know. One, two, three. We're just going to keep de doing this around. Word. Word for sure. When is the drawing for the book um, giveaway that you... Or did you already do it? I don't think I saw. One, two... I'm, I kind of went up, a, I messed up somewhere. That's okay, because it's not like we're keeping count at all. Single crocheting evenly. So here's what the little, the little sushi is looking. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. So for round 12, 13. I'm gonna just keep decreasing in crochet two and decrease and keep that around. Replay comment of 25th, I think. Okay. I I did comment as soon as the live ended. The first commenter was Tank, and I'm, I think, underneath her the second. I'm like, Tank, why are we so thirsty? <laughs> I was like, pray. Yeah, I would love that book, especially if I don't, like I said, if I don't get it, I'll buy it because it's so great. Just... <clears throat> Just the way she was describing her, you know, the way God has been using it to, like. So I'm single crocheting one and single two, and then I'm decreasing. I forgot to say that. Single crochet one, two. 
and then decrease yeah for sure oh like exciting oh you saw my comment yeah you you, you saw it it's like wow these people they're thirsty i'm kidding <laughs> in a good way yeah that's what i was doing today organizing the area and then yesterday all of for some reason someone i'm not gonna say who people in the house came over here and unplugged everything took my um, laptop cable and unplugged it and just like moved it somewhere in the house and then i come and i'm like um okay so when i plugged my camera in originally earlier it wasn't plugged in I had to, like, you know, go around, plug it in and everything. But it was, yeah, not great. Not a great start to the live. So, repeating that around forever. Four hours later. Frustrating, I am sure it was frustrating. Thank you. So frustrating. It was frustrating in a I need to keep moving forward type of way and figure it out before I have to be like, oh, I guess um this is the end of the life then <laughs> because I was yeah. I don't know if you were here in the beginning where I was struggling, but yes. So here's what it's looking like. It's looking like a uh, a nice beret. So um, this is a beret for a baby. That's what this is looking like. A baby beret. Ha huh, ha, huh, I love sushi. It looks like a tire. It looks like a car tire. It looks like anything but a sushi. <laughs> I'm going to do a sushi. Thank you. One thing I can say about this is it's very, very soft. Feels so soft. Everything I make looks like a boob though. It's kind of making me concerned about myself. Like, doesn't it though? Like, tell me, tell me the truth. It is, it's October, so it works. It's a bushy. Looks yummy. After I said it, it looks like a boob. You say it looks yummy. Does it really, really, Isola? Really? It does. Once you see it, in, once you see it, you can't unsee it. <laughs> Hide. Okay, so for round 14. What? That's not right. Hold on. 13. Oops. Hold on. Round 13 is supposed to say single crochet two and decrease. That's what round 13 is supposed to say, which is what I did. So for round 14, yes, I did. I looked at it. I'm like, that's wrong. I'm going to have to throw this whole thing out. This was a hot mess today, okay? For round 12, 12, I said 12, we're on round 14. Excuse me. For round 14, 
we're single crocheting one and then we're decreasing. Get it together. Get it together, me. Really? Wow, okay. I feel that. That's why I'm doing it like this, because if I don't if I don't do this like this, I'm never gonna do it, I feel. I have so many ideas and so many patterns and just there's no time. There's no time to do everything. There's no time to clean. There's no time to cook and do patterns and have a life. It's, and then we're working for YouTube for free. It's a mess. We'll just say it like it is, right? Oh, hi, Kelly. Hi there. What you doing? Are you eating? Are you eating? Did you finish cooking? Probably, right? Like a, a long time ago, like an hour ago. Single crochet one. And it decrease. Single crochet one and then decrease. Yeah, right, Kelly, you just popped in and said hook the yarn in and left and stuff. <laughs> I'm calling you out. I'm sorry. Converse with me, please. I know this is boring. I can know. I know it. It's just, it's sushi. Oh, this person. <gasps> you're not. You're in 666 right now? Oh, no. Did someone really do that to you? They saw you were above 666 and then they, like, unsubscribed to you for real? Wow. Because you were above 666. You were, like, 668 or something or 669 or 667. That's, Wow. Who did it? Who did it? Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Okay, so here we have the most furriest sushi. This sushi has gone bad. It needs to be thrown in the garbage. So we're gonna keep in decreasing until we get to this part right here. But right now the hole is too big. You got stuck at 340. Oh my goodness. You know that you need we need to, you know, keep it going, Isela, and get those subs, you know. We've been missing you on the streets. Oops. Round 14. See, this is a whole hot mess. I'm going to do another separate tutorial to fix all this because look at that. Do you see my note right here? Round 14, single crochet, increase, not what I did at all. Single crochet and decrease. See, this is why pattern, this is why it's a freestyle and you can tell it's a freestyle because of fail. Look at that. Fail all over the place. Round 15 is just straight decrease. Yeah. The Yarny Hermit Howdy Do. Hi. Yeah, drop links, guys. Is that you, Kim? Because <laughs> I know that's you. That's a name you would, you would, only you would have. That That's definitely you. That's so funny. 
I commented on a video and got blocked. I suck at YouTube. Really, bro? Like, really? You got blocked for commenting on a video? I knew it was you, Kim. Like, I knew. Totally, totally knew immediately. <laughs> oh, it's funny. I'm just decreasing in each stitch around. Decreasing over one, two. So you decrease over two stitches around. Bum, bum, bum. Secret identity revealed. All right, so at this point, I'm going to start stuffing. Yeah, because the hole is getting smaller. Where did my stuffing go? Drop them like it's hot. Drop them like it's hot. All the 10 people in here, drop your links, guys. Drop them like they're that's so okay. You see how this little little sushi is hermit, hermit the frog here, hermit the crab here, <coughs> and he <coughs> I inhaled <coughs> some of this fiber. Polyfill. I keep calling it fiber fill. I always call it that. The channel is not this community. She didn't like that. I kind of let back the person who says she was. Oh, okay. Do you like my thing? Check out. Check out at and then the person's channel. Maybe you'll like what you see, winky face. I wish the winky face actually showed up. I don't know why it's not. Winky face. Ooh, it's... Okay, so this is the sushi. The sushi ball. I think that's a good enough amount of stuffings. If I had like a cardboard, I would put it in there to make it really a sushi to shape it better. That's something I could probably do. Hmm, I had another idea. Probably make this bigger and make sushi pillows. You see this? If I were to get more of this yarn I could do a big wide situation and then make sushi pillows because this feels so soft squishy squishy so Isela is saying she answered your comment she answered my comment and then blocked my comment and her response that's so weird I don't know why people get weird on the internet we're all here for each other, you know what I mean? Like, stop being, people need to stop being weird. Y'all see that, y'all see the Hermit account? Y'all, they're so cool. I mean, they really, such a cool account. Oh my God, Kim, why are you doing this to me? Oh, why is that something I would say? <laughs> I swear that. <sighs> okay. Decreasing around. Mm. So refreshing. Decrease, decrease, decrease. My eyes are so tired after doing this that after I'm done doing this, I'm just like gonna go wash my face or something. You know what I mean? Like staring at this for a while. All right, so I think I got to the sushi hole. 
to the fishy hole. Ew. The fishy hole. Yeah, I feel like that's true. Did you drop your link? The her the yarny hermit. Wink. Wink. The hermit eat fish too. There I there. There I there, hermit eat fish. Eat sushi. Ooh, -wee, you do. -wee. I don't know why I said it like that. I agree with this so much. It's good to accept other people's opinions. And it's okay. I was processing that in to its I was processing that it's it's late. Yeah, it is late. It's like late. I'm dead sushi hole. Come on, don't. Okay. This is like the last round, guys. I can't believe it. Can you? No, because it's been two hours. I'm sorry. I love what I do, though, guys. Don't get me wrong. But I'm sure it's like, it's two hours for you guys. You're like, two hours? Two hours? This is how long it takes to make things. You know, and if someone ever wants to buy, I could just be like, okay, go watch my like freestyle live. Now see how long it takes me. How much should I charge for this? This should be $25 or so, maybe more. It's $18 an hour in Chicago, right? So can someone do my math for me? been on for two hours at $18 an hour. How, how much should I charge? That's so, okay. I'm going to exchange to the, to the pink color. And work. Oh, you're still at the pumpkin patch? Dude. Why? That's so weird. Did you record a video at the pumpkin patch? I'm plugging my laptop in. I'm trying to find it. The end to it. <clears throat> no, you just enjoyed it. Did you? Support your peeps. Okay, so I'm changing to the pink color. So what do I do when I color change? I skip this stitch and then I slip stitch into the next. So we'll skip this one, slip stitch into this stitch. Yarn over, chain up one, and then cut my yarn. Yeah, life goes on. It's just, it's just YouTube. Oh, well, it depends if you become monetized eventually. So people are tripping out there in the streets. So, where did my pink yarn go? Ooh, hold on. Yeah. Here it is. Haha. -ha. All right. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. All right. All right. So I made a slip knot and I'm attaching the slip knot to my crochet hook. And it smells like someone is smoking outside in Chicago. <clears throat> if I get heard coughing, you know why. All right. So I'm going to be doing decreasing trying to get it as close to the other one as possible because this is like a thicker yarn so I'm decreasing ones
twice. Thrice? No. That's one, two, three, four. Yeah. Five. And then I'm just gonna do a color change to green because this is a. Uh, I would ideally have six, but I did five decreases. So I'm going to write that right here. I do too. Can I do too? But even if you do not do even, when you get monetized, you're still going to have to supplement your income somehow. Yeah. Hi, Charlie. So you're, yeah, you're going to have to supplement your income somehow. Shelly. <clears throat> so I de five decrease. And then I'm going to switch to the green. Money, 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 money. Money. All right. So I'm switching to the green color, but I'm not doing it the way I was doing it. I'm just going to switch. Where did I put my green color? Here's my green color. Ah, okay. Ow. I'm just going to pull it through because this yarn is forgivable. Like you can't see much. So, so. I just pulled it through the top of the finished Oh, pulled it a little too hard. Being monetized ain't all that. It depends on, like, what would you say is the most difficult part of being monetized? So I'm going to do a, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to single crochet into the same stitch as the pink because I'm trying to get that three stitches even pennies more like penny 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 pennies pennies yeah I mean you gotta work it when you get monetized right like you have to be grinding on the grind yeah affiliate link affiliate marketing affiliate links everything so I'm single crocheting into, hold on, let me fix that. Let me write down what I was doing. Round 16 still. Single crochet in the same stitch as last pink stitch. Single crochet in next. Single crochet in same stitch as last pink stitch. And then slip stitch. That's what I'm going to do. What would you guys say? Okay, so I don't know if anyone here is monetized other than Cuppy. Oh, um, let me. Oh, I am affiliate. I'm an affiliate. I sell of so many things. I make enough to support my me and the kids' fun things, so it doesn't have to come from the money from the homeschooling the hubs makes. Yup, I just want to be able to contribute to the homeschooling books more. I feel like a good way to do another stream of income too is, <clears throat> you know, start trying to sell what you're making um, too. I don't know if you already do that, but yeah, the grind has to be real. Like, 
Yeah. I feel like a lot of money will come from just selling what you're making, too. Um, hold on. So I'm almost basically done. Basically done. So I have to stitch it in. But these are the three single crochet I just made. This single crochet is made into the last the last stitch I made of the pink. Single crochet into the next stitch. And then I single crochet into the same stitch as the other side of the single crochet. Oh, you hear the dog? Now I'm going to cut this yarn pretty long enough to do a tail. I need a large, large eye needle like this one. Those little bigger ones. I'm going to chain this and do that. We're going to hide this yarn. So I want to I want to sew it into this center right here because on the other side it looks like it's in the center. I'm going to do the same thing just to make it look even. <clears throat> so that's like, there it is. Probably just sew it back like that and do that again. All right, and I'm going to hide it. I'm going to knot it. And then pull it through the center. And the center, what I consider the center of the green at least. <clears throat> Let me scroll down. Chat is gone. Unless you want to bust your, sorry to say, nut, you have to really make an... Yeah, so I feel that too. There's like, always has to be a another way that you're making money. Because I know YouTube, unless you're getting crazy subscriptions and views and super chats and like really banging it out, like consistently I don't see you know what I mean like if you're gonna be doing it as a career career and dedicating to it then it's not gonna it might it might be worth it but if we could figure out all of us how to make more money on the side that would even be better oops sushi so this is the sushi okay bye guys now